What's up, you motherfuckers? It's your boy. We're back, and yes, you know all my my fucking glory. When uh, I moved out again, this third time I actually moved out. Had my old apartment. Okay, my old house. Went to a shitty apartment. Went to a different, nice, decent apartment. Went back to my parents' place, and now I'm in the the, the glory. Okay, it's, it's a good apartment. It's pretty nice. I'll, I'll show it to everyone once it's done. Alright, so questions. Where the fuck are the spotlights? There are, there's no spotlights, okay? No more spotlights. Okay. Alright, I, I might do St. Birth because I feel bad. My girlfriend already voiced it and that's when we were having a rough time to, you know? And she tried doing the voiceover still and I did, I did get the incentive for that. Honesty time! Alright. Regarding the spotlights and EU in general, uh, first, I want you to all to take this with a bit of salt or whatever, but I want you all to understand. The first spotlight I made was the Lady Rachel one, and that was out of love. I enjoyed it, I liked it, and then I got it wasn't a contract, it was a verbal thing. EU approached me and said like, Hey, can you make spotlights for us? We'll give you a card and some boxes for it. And that's why we have the box openings. So, Daria. Made spotlight for her. I was, uh, you know, I was able to record like certain stuff. I was given footage. I used my own footage. And I made spotlight for her. And there we have it. That that that's where it started. It became a monthly thing, and then we got what was it after Daria, Rubiana. We got Rubiana. I also did voiceover. I wanted my friend Stral. <laughs> Sorry, Stral. I wanted Stral to voice it over, but he he voiced it in a rushed way, so I, I did it on my own. I tried to make it better, but. Daria's and Rubiana's felt like shit because it was so fucking over edited. And then I think after that I made the Jaina video. Yeah, I think that I made the Jaina video. That was out of pure love because you know, Jaina best wife who in GE. Right? <laughs> That's your face right now. <laughs> Alright, and after that, I think I made the what was it after Rubiana? I think it was Lada. Was it Lada already? Lada. What, 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 what are the stuff that you voiced over? I don't remember. Yo, yo, give me warlock, a sock voice. Warlock girl. Warlock girl? You said you didn't like her because she was a warlock. That's Rubiana. Oh, that's Rubiana. Because I voiced a lot of them after uh, Stroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Better videos. Stats video. Jaina, yeah, yeah, it's Rachel, Daria, Rubiana, Jaina, White Wolf, Kato, Lada, and Anis. Alright, so, yeah. So after Jaina, we had White Wolf. That was also actually kind of out of love, even though I don't love White Wolf. I, I just did it because, ah, why not? I got him for free. I got it from Doom, man. Doom was a cool guy. Gave me White Wolf. Uh, you know, go for it. Although, Jay also, uh, Hardy also requested the one for Jaina, but uh, I like Jaina a lot, so I made it for Jaina, and then Lada. Lada was, I think, the best one that I made. I think it's... I, I, I kind of like Lada's spotlight over Anis. Probably because I had better shots for Lada or something. And the music fits well. And then Anis came, and then I died. Because for like over a month, I didn't have an internet connection. Around January 8th, I transferred here. And I had a lot of issues. We were working stuff out. But 
you know, everything is cool now. We, we even have like a fiber connection. I can upload shit in a, in a breeze. Yeah, and all right. So why am I telling you all this? Back around the Lada was released, he was slowly getting off or going going down. Uh, a lot of people would probably, from the big boy factions, would tell you a lot of shit about EU. I'm not gonna talk shit. I mean, it's hard to manage a server. It's hard to be a moderator. It's a job. Any kind of job is hard. Whatever you're doing, if you think they're just pushing papers or pencils, it's just, it's hard. All kinds of jobs are hard, and sometimes people cut costs, and sometimes people don't follow deals. So that's what happened. Now, what happened is. When Lada came in, I did not get her card. Normally, I get card and then boxes. I didn't get her card. I just got boxes, which was not cool because this is where the salt comes in. Every other YouTuber, not everyone, but some YouTubers and some Twitch streamers get the same rewards. Same as me. So if you're in my position, would you not get pissed? Because if you remember back then, they had this event called uh, GE Streamer, whatever YouTuber. They would give you sets and art books and all that shit. And I was doing everything on that list. I upload PvP videos, I upload storylines, I even uploaded guides, I uploaded promotional videos and stance videos. Of course, my editing, my PvP videos are not as funny as Croft's. I understand that, I don't put much effort in the PvP videos, those are my filler videos. Although I do enjoy the PvPs, especially Fly Angle. Shout out to you, Fly Angle. Get on my level, bitch. Anyway. Yeah, so during when Lada came in, they didn't give me the card, they just gave me fucking boxes. I got salty from that, and I wanted to stop, especially since I said like, well hey, I'm moving away anyway, I want to cut connections now. Come January, we're in, they wanted, they had Executor Anis. They gave me 20k EGC, that's a lot, I know, but... Think about this, 10k EGC per character versus what they give to other people. Someone even got a high-end item. I won't say the name, I won't say what item it was. Now that high-end item would have been considered 10k G, more than 10k EGC. Come on, how much do you spend to upgrade your gear, kids? Sorry, not kids. I know you're all rich people, richer than me. My boys. But yeah, it's, it's not fair, but I was like surprised, I'm like, oh shit, 20k EGC. Now the problem there was, I opened boxes during Executor Anis and St. Burst run. You know what's funny? I only showed 100, 100 something or 170 or something when I was doing box openings, but if you ask my friends, I actually opened more than 500. And I never got an executor and oh wait no I got an executor anis at the 400 mark <laughs> the, the package uh, that was fucking depressing I didn't even get Saint Birth I had to buy her for like 2B or something when, before I quit just so I can break her so yeah the rates are getting gimped it's horrible and I kind of just lost motivation for G I did make the executor anis one because I got her after spamming 500 boxes, trust me, I don't know if I haven't, I'm not sure if I deleted the videos of that because I didn't want to make EU look bad, but hey, this just talking out of honesty. Anyway, uh, recently when I stopped promoting them, they kind of like stopped doing their weekly events as well. I don't know what's happening, uh, I don't know if it's like budget cuts or something because, you know, people are, when Sword 2 updated, they are jumping over to Sword 2 so they're losing players and then SGE so people are like migrating everywhere 
So the only ones left in EU are probably like people who are too attached to the game or the accounts they have and the big boys. You know, Athena, Eclipse, 404, uh, Spot, I don't know, there's some SpongeBob. So just Athena, Eclipse, 404, and the Russian dudes. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I got 20k EGC and bogged it on 500 something boxes and didn't get anything decent. And I'm sorry I didn't make a safe birth spotlight, sorry GMJ, I know you were expecting that, but you know, you guys need to step up your shit. I mean, if you're giving incentives to people that do this, you should at least have like a proper ranking. I mean, someone who doesn't even edit his videos gets the same reward as someone that takes like a I don't know, three days, two days to edit his videos and even sh more than a day to shoot everything. And that affects my, you know, my personal time or my leveling time or whatever. These guys, they just record whatever they're doing and then boom, upload. Nothing. They, some of them don't even fucking just edit it or just straight up upload. So, yeah, it, it takes a lot of uh, work. And the reason why I stopped doing spotlights now, I mean, I have friends that have access to Doomslave, Mercenary Cal, it's just, I, you know, it's not worth it anymore. Uh, if I still want to do it out of love, then it's for a character that I like, I really like. Then there's no, there's no motivation. I mean, as much as I want to give back to the community, I know the community enjoys watching the spotlights. It's just, I don't know, man, maybe, maybe later on they release something better. And don't think about Corsair or Carrier. Not happening. 2B for a goddamn stance. No. Anyway, that's basically it. New place. I'll video it in another video. Just like tour up the place because we're still working on some stuff. We cut up like comic book strips and place it on the wall. Make like a collage. We also have a gaming room. We have like a fuck ton of posters in there. But yeah, anyway, it's me signing off. TLDR video. TLDR short is uh, EU got salt, gone sour after Lada. No more highlights or spotlights and less PvP videos. I don't know, I'm just leveling now. I kind of like, I'm doing other things. I'm playing my PS2 emulator. So I'm out!